Hello everyone, I am Priyanka. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So you might have watched my demo video of email translation from German to English. And I have implemented that the workflow with the help of UiPath's AI Fabric language detection and language translation ML package. After that, I got feedback asking the step-by-step -step implementation for the same. And here is the video for you. In today's video, we're going to use UiPath's AI Fabric language detection and language translation ML package. And at the end of this video, you'll be able to create your ML package and you'll be able to deploy the ML skill. Also, you'll be able to design the workflow which translate the email from German to English language. So watch this video till end. Before moving on to the implementation, prerequisite is to enable AI Fabric. So, if you have not enabled AI Fabric and you want to know that how we can enable AI Fabric, so I have one video on my channel, so in which I have given the brief about what is AI Fabric, how we can enable our AI Fabric, and how we can deploy our first ML skill. And you'll find the link of this video in description box below. So you can go and you can enable your AI Fabric. But if you have already enabled your AI Fabric, so let's get started without any delay. So to implement the workflow, first of all, we are going to create the language detection and language translation ML package and we are going to deploy our ML skills. After that, we're going to get some German text from Google Translate and we'll mail it to our Outlook for the demo purpose. And later on, we'll design the workflow in UiPath Studio and we'll provide the German language email as an input. Later on, we'll call the ML skill to translate the email from German to English language. And we'll get the translated email, which is in English language as an output. And we are going to send it back to our mailbox. So let's go ahead and create the language detection and language translation ML package. To create ML package, first we need to log into our orchestrator. Then we need to go to this AI fabric section. Over there, we'll be able to create our ML package. So to create that, first we need to create project. Let's say language detection and the description is and let's click on create button. After that, you need to go to the ML package and you need to select out of the box packages. So UiPath is providing a lot of out of the box packages. For language detection, we need to go to the language analysis and we can select the language detection out of the box packages. You'll find the short description about these packages. So we need to provide any language and it will provide the output which is language and its confidence. So let's click on submit. Let's give a name. And let's submit. So our language detection package has been created and it is in undeployed status. So to deploy it, we need to go to the ML skill and we need to click on create new and name it as a language detection. Let's choose the package that we have created, which is language detection. Select the version 1, select the minor version and let's click on create. Now the status is deploying. So we need to wait till it is available. So it will take some time to deploy. In the meantime, we can go and we can create a language translation ML package. So let's go back to the AI fabric. Let's click on create a new project and let's name it as a language translation. And description. Let's 
let's click create then to create the ml package for language translation we need to go to the ml package then we need to select out of the box packages we need to go to the language translation and here you will see lot many packages for language translation so to translate from german to english we need to select german to english package so input for this ml package would be the german text and the output would be the translated email language so let's click on submit so let's give a name to the package which is language translation let's click on submit and our package has been created so let's go to the ml skill and let's deploy it so to create ml skill click on create new name it as german to english and select the package that we have created select the major version select minor version and let's click on create So now we have created the ML skill and it is in a deploying status. Till the time it is being available, let's go to the Google Translate and get some German text and mail it to the Outlook. And I want some German text. So let's say, please send me the details and thanks. So let's copy this German text and go to the outlook new email and inside this i'll paste the german text and the subject would be a request for details and let's copy this and paste it in the subject and i'll add my account let's send it so here I got the mail which is in a German language and I need to translate this email into the English language so I'll provide this email as an input to my workflow before going ahead to create a workflow let's check our ML skill has been deployed or not let's refresh it so our ml skill is available now so let's go ahead and create the workflow and let's uh, call this ml skill to detect the language and to translate the language from german to english so let's create the process language detection translation click create Let's drag one sequence here and first of all we need to read the emails which is uh, in a German language from our Outlook. So to do that I'll simply drag get Outlook mail message activity from activity panel so drag here and account so I'll mention my mail ID here in double quotation let's click ok so we need to read only unread emails so we'll make sure that only unread messages option is checked and we'll create a output data item which is mails so it will read all the emails which is unread from my outlook account and will store this into this data item which is mails and now for each email i need to call the ml skill that we have just deployed so to do that i'll simply drag for each loop
and inside this for each loop i'll just mention my mails data item that we have just created so inside this body we need to call ml skill that we have just deployed so to do that we need ml skill activity but if you go to the activity panel and you'll search for ml skill activity you'll not find anything because we have not added the dependencies for the same so to do that let's go to the manage package go to the all packages select ml services and this package you need to install which is uipath.ml services.activities and let's click on install save and all the dependencies will get added to the workflow. So now if you go to the activity panel and you'll search ML skill, you'll be able to see the ML skill activity inside your activity panel. So let's drag it in the body section. So let's just refresh this activity and under this drop down, you'll be able to see the skills that we have deployed, which is German to English and language detection. So first we'll select the language detection ML skill and input for this activity will be the email subject. So I can access my email subject with the help of item. But before that, we need to change the type argument of this for each loop from object to mail message. So if you are not able to see the mail message over here, you can always browse for the type and simply search mail message. And you'll be able to see the mail message type here. Select it and click OK. Inside the input, I'll just simply provide item dot subject. And we can create the output variable and which will store the detected language inside this data item. So let's create detected subject. Okay. And we can simply print the detected subject with the help of right line activity, detected subject. Later on, we'll call the ML skill for language translation. So let's drag one ML skill activity. And this time we'll select the ML skill, which is German to English. And input would be for this activity, item dot subject. So this activity will translate the email subject from German to English. And let's create the output data item to store the translated um, subject, say translated subject. Now it's time to translate the email body. So to do that, again, we'll call another ML skill activity below this. Then we'll select German to English. Again, I'm accessing body with the help of item dot body. And let's create a data item. Say translated body. So this ML skill activity will translate my email subject and my email body and uh, it will store the translated subject and translated body inside this data item which is translated subject and translated body so let's send these uh, details back to our outlook so to do that i need to drag send outlook mail message activity so i'll quickly drag here then inside two i'll mention my email id And inside subject, I need to provide translated subject. And inside body, I need to provide translated body. And we are done. Let's uh, save this. And now inside my outlook, so there is one email, which is in a German language. 
here I have two more emails that I have used for demo purpose in my earlier video. So we'll also use this for our implementation. Let's make this three emails unread. So now so let's go ahead and run the workflow. So as you can see here, it has detected the languages for three emails and our workflow has finished its execution. So let's go to the Outlook and check the email which is uh, translated from German to English language. And as you can see here, the English text that we have just translated with the help of Google Translate and uh, the same thing that we have got in this email. And these are the two more email that I have uh, used. So here language detection ML skill is not playing a major role because we are using only one language. Uh, so it is not playing any major role to detect a language but yeah if there are so many languages and we we want to translate from any of language to any specific language then this language detection ml skill will play major role you know to detect the language and accordingly it will translate the language so that's all for now so in this video we have seen that how we can create ai fabrics out of the box packages which is language detection and language translation and also we've seen that how we can deploy the ml skill and how we can call that ml skill in our uipath studio also we have translated the email language from german to english so uipath is providing so many out of the box packages for language translation like english to russian russian to english so try to use that in your workflow and let me know your comment in the description box thanks for watching my video and stay tuned with me for more such video till then happy learning